Before we get started with the Gmail to Salesforce integration, there are a couple things that you will need to have. First of all, you'll need the Google Chrome browser to be able to access the Chrome store and also the, your login credentials for your Salesforce org. We'll go first by navigating to the Chrome store by going to chrome.google.com slash web store, then searching for Salesforce. We'll click on the Salesforce web extension and click on add to Chrome. From there, we'll navigate back to our mailbox and refresh. In just a few moments, the Salesforce integration will pop in on the right-hand side, and you can click on Login to Salesforce. If you've saved your login credentials, you can click on your username, and then it'll pre-populate with the information. Click on Login and get the confirmation code that you want to integrate Gmail to Salesforce. The integration will be asking you for permission to access certain parts of your email and also your calendar. Click on Allow and to finish up and link the account. You can click on Go to Salesforce and it'll bring up all the accounts and information that you have access to within your Gmail environment. When you first log in, you'll be prompted with a welcome screen to walk you through some of the basic benefits of having the integration. You can hide the integration panel by clicking on the right arrow right here and also expanding it by clicking on the Salesforce icon. A couple things you can access is your profile in your Salesforce org, notifications that you will receive, or a shortcut to opening up the Salesforce org in a new tab. You can also look at tasks that you've been assigned or have coming up, as well as create new records within Salesforce. After you set up the Gmail to Salesforce integration, we can go ahead and log an email. Expand the Salesforce integration by clicking on the Salesforce cloud and click on an email that relates to something that you're working on in your org. You'll notice that any contacts that you have added into Salesforce will appear here and you have the option to add a new contact. For now, let's click on the log email to log this in. It'll search for contacts that you have within the Salesforce org and relate them to the email that you're saving. If you want to, you can select one organization or household to relate this message to as well. Click on the Save button. You'll notice that a label was added and an email was created. You can check that the email was added by going into your Salesforce org. As a shortcut, you can click on the icon for showing this record in Salesforce. It'll open up a new tab with your Salesforce org and you can locate the contact or contacts that you related the email to. Let's click on Corina, for example. You'll see that the email that I saved and logged to Salesforce appears here in the activity timeline. Now let's go back to our Gmail box. You can also log new emails that you send out to a contact that's in your Salesforce org. For example, you can compose a new email message and address it to your recipient. Once you finish composing your email message, click on send. You'll notice that a pop-up will come up to say if you want to save this email into your Salesforce or related to that record. Select or unselect anyone that you would like to include on the record activity timeline and click on log. If you don't want this to pop up, you can always uncheck the always remind me to log. However, you will have to go back to previous email messages and log them manually. Now let's go back to our first example where we click on an email that was received but wasn't yet logged into Salesforce. For instance, let's start by adding Jeremy. So we'll click on the Add to Salesforce button and set him up as a new contact. We'll enter his information and click on Save. And now you can see that Jeremy was added as a contact in Salesforce. You can click on Edit Logged Email and also add Jeremy so that this email can be logged to his account as well. 